First look at Hydrogen OS 10 based on Android 10 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. What's up peeps, Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we are going to have our first look at Hydrogen OS 10 based on Android 10 running on the Poco F1. In case you want to know how to install this build, I have a separate video for that which can be found in the description of the video and in the pinned comment as well. Those of you who are curious as to what is this light which is blinking, this is the proximity sensor. It is not a feature. There is no way to enable this explicitly. If you want to see your proximity sensor blink, point a video recording camera at it and you will be surprised. So here is the build running on our device. You can see that the kernel is from Amog 787. The security patch is from June 1st, 2020. And this is how the build comes out of the box. You do have OnePlus Launcher baked in and the version of OnePlus Launcher which is present here is 4.0. Do note this is the one which does have access to OnePlus shelf. You also have double tap to sleep on the home screen. And of course, double tap to wake also works. As you can see, we do have the icon for the face over there, which means that face unlock is working on this build. But do note that this is not your IR face unlock. This face unlock uses the normal camera. Next up, if I open the application drawer and swipe, I do have access to hidden space working absolutely fine. I can, of course, go into home settings and enable or disable my double tap to lock from the home screen the shelf and i can also change my icon packs right now it is set as round we can choose square go back and bam there it is you can see that the icons have now changed to square other than that let's have a look at the quick setting tiles these are the different tiles you get yes you do have indianet's sound application baked in and that is because OnePlus phones come with an alert slider. However, the Poco F1, as you know, does not have an alert slider. So you can add this Indianets tile to your quick settings and you can use it to change the ringtone mode on your Poco F1 running Hydrogen OS 10. You also have a screen recorder application baked in. And as you can see, you can choose your resolution, bitrate, frames, the audio source. So you have internal audio and microphone audio which includes voice and surroundings so these are the different options which you get with the screen recorder and of course you also have a tile for zen mode as well in case you want to stay away from your device for a few minutes next up let's have a look at the volume panel so the volume panel is on the correct side you can of course expand it and you can also go into volume settings from this shortcut which you get and you can also change your media output using the option if you have any Bluetooth devices connected. As for the recents, this is how your recents look like. The transitions and the animations are pretty smooth and pretty fast. I personally haven't noticed any lags or anything like that. Next up, you also have the equalizer application baked in. And yes, this is OnePlus equalizer, which works absolutely fine as long as you have headphones connected to your Poco F1. Next up, we can go into settings, go into display. You do have adaptive brightness, works absolutely fine. Here it is, you can see that the brightness slider adjusted automatically. Then you have screen calibration. All these options are working absolutely fine, along with sRGB, display, P3, and AMOLED wide gamut. You can, of course, change the intensity to cold or warm. As you can see, the options are working absolutely fine on this build next up we have notch display in notch display you have two options to show the notch area or to hide the notch area as you can see both those options are working absolutely fine then in case you want to override applications which work or show up in full screen only you have an option for that then we have options for night mode reading mode and video enhancer all these options work absolutely fine along with ambient display you can change your font size display size Blink light, I have disabled it because the Poco F1 does not have a colored LED, so you cannot customize the color. Then you have customization for your status bar. You can choose between 
these three options for your battery style in case you want to see the battery percentage you have a toggle for that and in case you want to see your network speed you have a toggle for that as well along with the option of seeing your time with seconds and you also have icon manager to choose what all icons you want to see in your status bar a toggle to auto rotate screen and screen saver as well moving over to customization so from here and you can change your theme you have three different themes you can change your wallpapers you can also change your clock styles so you have default analog and minimalism all these options are working absolutely fine and of course you can see them on the ambient display then you can change the accent color as well these are the different options you have in case you want to enter a specific code you can use the customization option and then tap on color code to enter a specific hexadecimal code you can also change the tone you have three different options colorful light and dark then you have option to change the icon shapes in your quick settings we have chosen right now rounded rectangle that is how rounded rectangle looks like let us change this to teardrop and there it is the icons have now changed to the teardrop icon shape then you can also change your icon pack from here as well and you have the option of choosing between roboto or oneplus slate font so these are the different options in customization moving over to sound and vibration these are the different options you can change your ring volume media volume alarm volume you also have an option for earphone mode that is what do you want to do when you connect earphones to your device so you can automatically resume music playback or you can also enable or disable smart answer for bluetooth and different options next up you can configure the phone ringtone and vibration similarly you can configure sms ringtone and vibration and of course you do have different vibration patterns and intensities all these options are working absolutely fine for your phone and your messages as well then you have notification sound and vibration with the option of controlling the intensity so you do not have the option of vibration pattern for your sms ringtone and the notification sound that option is only available for when your phone rings next up you can customize your system sounds you have toggles for all these options and you also have a toggle to enable or disable touch vibration along with the option of configuring the vibration intensity for your touches next up you have buttons and gestures so we'll skip over alert slider because we do not have an alert slider navigation bar and gestures you can choose between three different kind of navigation options so the three button style then you have navigation gestures wherein if you swipe from the left or the right it will go back or you can use the third option wherein you can swipe up from the bottom edge to go back and you also have the option to hide the bottom bar i prefer the style which you see on the screen right now and as i mentioned earlier the gestures are pretty smooth on this build moving over to quick gestures you do have three finger screenshot working absolutely fine along with the option of expanded screenshot in case you want to take expanded screenshots on your device double tap to wake is working absolutely fine as well then you also have double click of the power button for camera you have a toggle for that and you also have quick activate of the assistant application and long press of the photo i think this last option of long press of fingerprint sensor to take a picture does not work for the poco f1 nothing much to talk about in apps and notifications in security and lock screen yes you do have the option of screen lock fingerprint works absolutely fine face unlock is super fast however do note that this is not using the ir camera on the poco f1 it is using the normal front camera and please i do not know if and when the developers will be able to port ir face unlock to this build of hydrogen os then we have battery so in battery you have battery saver you have a toggle to turn off battery saver when the device is fully charged and you can also schedule your battery saver based on a certain percentage and you can choose that percentage using this slider at the bottom once you enable based on percentage in case you want to turn on battery saver right away you do have the option of turn on now then you also have battery optimization now this is wherein you can you know enable or disable adaptive 
battery and you also have the option to enable or disable standby optimization so if you have an app from which you're not getting notifications all you need to do is open that app in battery optimization and just select do not optimize this will ensure that you get notifications from that application next up you also have game space baked in and once you enable game space you can also enable fanatic mode and all of these options are working absolutely fine on this build now in terms of root the build is not rooted out of the box however safety net will not pass if you do not root your device and once you've rooted your device safety net is going to pass however there are specific steps and specific modules which you need to install and these are the two modules which you need to install for safety net to pass so you need to install busybox and matches high drops config other than that you also need to update your google play services and detailed steps for this can be found in the pinned comment on this video next up for those of you who are worried about camera applications we do have a build of anx camera which works absolutely fine on this build however it does require you to install it as a magisk module and there are gcam apks also which work absolutely fine those apks and anx camera can again be found in the pinned comment on this video so all in all this build is pretty smooth and i haven't noticed any lags or any jitters on this build and there it is peeps that was our first look at hydrogen os 10 based on android 10 running on the poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you